Max. Good try. Yes, it's really early and it's surgery day and trying to wake up my roommates is pretty tough. Yeah. Aren't you surprised? <laughs> yeah, it's Diksha. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready for our aura cases for the day. We have about 14. Um, I think Yona and Max are going to see some sort of shoulder surgery. And um, we have several I, lower extremity cases. I think most of the day is going to be in lower extremity cases. So that should be exciting. And um, I've decided to scrub in with a doctor that I heard teaches a lot and so even though people keep saying oh it might be a little exhausting I'm so excited because we have a long way to go in this journey and we have a lot to learn so let's go um, hopefully we'll be able to keep filling you guys in throughout the day but I doubt it because it's going to be busy and we want to make sure we're on top of it so that we can get from case to case to case See you guys later. Okay guys, I'm gonna put on, show you how to put on this blue hood. The reason why we put on this blue hood for the OR is because sometimes my hair sticks out on my sides and I used to have a beard but I shaved it because I got called out on the OR. So I'm just gonna show you that. Just put it like this. It's gonna look a little funny. And fix this, pull it down, put it around like this. Tie it back and it should be good. Perfect. How do I look? So, I'm going to open this up, get ready to do our little pre scrub. The nail file. Get it wet a little bit and try to dig under your nails as you're doing this.
Okay, hi guys. Um, been in surgery this whole time. I've scrubbed and observed in about four surgeries now and I've been standing up all day and I'm really tired. My feet are in a lot of pain. And um, now I'm finally taking a break. It's around four o'clock. So another surgery at five o'clock. Diksha is really busy with doing another surgery as well. Um, and right now I'm just gonna Take a break, go eat with Max, and get a sandwich somewhere. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go eat really quick, and then I might scrub in or observe the next surgery around five. That one is a really cool surgery. Um, it's a podiatry case. And we're gonna probably talk about all the surgeries when Diksha and I get back home with Max, and we'll just, r just run down through all the surgeries, um, but I'm trying to use this time to just relax for a bit until we go back into the heat of things. So, I'll let you guys know. What a day. If you guys notice, and if you guys don't notice, I've grown out my beard in the last six hours <laughs> of making this video for you guys. But in actuality, I am, it's actually, we actually finished our surgery rotation and I totally forgot to film the ending of our surgery vlog. But uh, thankfully, I wrote, wrote down all the surgeries for the most part that I saw that day and I wanted to just go over that with you guys and talk about some of the things I was doing that day so hopefully you guys don't mind it but okay so I am tired because I did come back from another clinic so I am sort of replicating the feeling of coming back from a surgery rotation day so yes I am tired okay so the first thing in the morning at 7 30 that I saw was actually a not a surgery but a patient coming in with a shoulder dislocation and funny thing was is that I, I think I read uh, the surgery board uh, wrong and so I scrubbed into this procedure thinking that it was actually going to be a surgery for that for the shoulder and I came in and I scrubbed down and then the doctor came in no scrubs nothing patient was there popped the shoulder of the patient back into place and was done. Took 10 minutes. It took me longer to scrub, to get my stuff, to get all ready, and the nurses just to snicker at me, thinking I was a fool for scrubbing into this type of procedure. Ridiculous of me. But anyways, it was good training for me. Right after that, the doctor had an actual slap tear arthroscopic procedure which, funny enough, I've had in my uh, lifetime. I had that when I was, I think, 18. And it was really cool to see how the procedure was done from an outside perspective because, again, it felt like minutes to me having that procedure. But the actual procedure took about two hours to do. And there was a lot of fellows in the room and other residents who were helping the doctor, assisting him in the surgery. But the whole thing was really fascinating just to see how um, arthroscopy is done for the shoulder and just moving uh, the patient around, moving the shoulder around to see if they have proper motion, to look at their labrum. It was it was really cool. It's very intricate and this sort of this the world of orthopedics is is beautiful. And I, I just respect that about these doctors and what they have to do with all their gadgets and the type of surgeries they're doing. So this was a great surgery that I really enjoyed scrubbing into and thankfully I was able to scrub into that because again, there's residents and fellows and who am I? A third year podiatric medical student. But then again, as long as you hold yourself up and you know what you're saying and what you're doing, what you're mo do, like moving around places, helping the doctor here and there, 
the respect is going to be there and that was great um right after i actually scrubbed in not scrubbed in i actually shadowed um a hand surgery that actually did show at the time was scrubbing into which was really cool i don't really remember all the details for that surgery but it was a hand surgery that's all i remember <laughs> um afterwards afterwards actually was the big surgery and this surgery was actually necrosis of the left breast of a female patient who actually had a pseudomonas infection that um, was going on for months I believe and she didn't actually treat it and finally she consented to actually having surgery for it there was a lot going on with her tissue and the surgery wasn't easy at all the doctor for the surgery actually called in one of her colleagues to help her out in the surgery and there was a lot of people in the room making sure everything was going okay and uh, what can i say it was just it was a very long procedure and making sure you don't cut any blood vessels and just making sure like some of the nerves were intact and seeing if the infection spread anywhere else there was just it was a lot going on and thankfully the procedure went really well the patient felt fine she started to slowly wake up after we, we saw her um, and she was doing perfectly perfectly okay which was great I don't know any of the follow-ups for these surgeries but um, so far all the surgeries that I've mentioned to you um, went really well and that that was really great after that big long procedure which took about I believe five hours five maybe five hours maybe six hours I, I don't really recall it it was it, I know it was the longest surgery um, I decided to stay for an IMD uh, foot surgery and that was really cool um, I love seeing INDs because they're very quick they're very fast and they're very effective and just knowing that I go into these thinking about the anatomy and thinking about the type of possible infection that they're dealing with with this uh, type of procedure and how it's done and the resident who was training us all along for our, throughout our surgical rotation about how to scrub how to prepare for surgery things to look out for in a clinical setting and it's nice to see that um, he was able to take over I was able to ask him questions during it and being able to apply my anatomy and understanding the microbiology of things I think about all these little things while I'm looking into a surgery, trying to um, apply the knowledge that I have. And again, it went really well. The patient, honestly, again, everything turned out really well with all the surgeries I saw today. And I was really happy about all of this. And basically, that was pretty much my whole day. It was consisted of how many surgeries? One, two, three, four surgeries, plus the dislocation in the morning that the doctor just popped in and yeah it was it was a long day it was a lot to do and again I, I i'm very privileged and diksha feels very privileged to be able to scrub into these surgeries especially as third year uh, podiatric medical students and i really had a great time um, during my surgical rotation being able to scrub in with so many different types of doctors who weren't just podiatrists and the amount of respect uh, these types of doctors are giving to us medical students and giving their just being comfortable with us being in those rooms says a lot and I feel like we've gone a long way to or we've come a long way to get to this point as medical students and for this profession and it being recognized by other doctors by other healthcare professionals it does really mean a lot and I really love this experience and Honestly, I can't wait to continue going back into the OR and just getting better and hopefully one day holding a scalpel and um, just making my first cut and hopefully suturing something. It's little things like this that uh, honestly make my day and I, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, what the future has in store for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog that we put together. I know that this was <laughs> I forgot to uh, film the last part but this is how much I could recall and I wrote some of it down in order to make this video and I'm just really happy that I was able to make this vlog with Diksha and 
show you as much as I could uh, during our surgery rotation. So if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to message us, follow us on Instagram at the DPM journey, email us at the DPM journey at gmail.com. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care guys. Pod Squad signing out.